there's the Scientology use that's visible that you see, and then there's the Scientology you do not see. Yeah. The the dark underbelly, what goes on behind those curtains, why you are sex checked so vigorously to never say a word of what you know went on in that building. And this is this is they, they have so many secrets of their diabolical hideous conduct, which is why there's endless interrogatories and sex checks. There's <laughs> If if only the, if only they were a little bit kind, a religion is supposed yeah. to be beneficial, compassionate, understanding. How how can you be vicious and want to retaliate with vengeance and still want respect in the law courts of being a religion? It the characteristics and behavior and conduct is not religious. It's mafia pub territory. <laughs> Crack a whip. Now, let's go on to a subject that I think you'd be knowledgeable in. Rachel, There's, it's sleep deprivation. Go. Uh, that was one of my biggest issues. Um, my, my first time encountering it, I was really young. Uh, I ended up in Madrid on a uh, a project and we had to stay up all day and all night um i was like i wasn't even filming much i was like helping with some filming but also i'd be like sitting in an internet cafe downloading i don't even remember what i was downloading because you don't remember things super well when you're lacking sleep mm -hmm. i stayed up day and night why i got off why? A why? Because Why we were just assigned. To... We were assigned to work all night and all day. Or I had. Uh, so first, I was in Israel on a project with Larry Jacobs, and he ran his video crew to stay up all day and all night. And we were filming a video of a mission in Israel um, that was doing way to happiness stuff and like pe peacekeeping stuff and like what whatever. So just he would just run us all day and all night. And honestly, it was just bad organization and mm. that's just the way he ran things so i'll stay up all night and you know let's find a way to film stuff all day long and then stay up all night doing the administration and the logging the footage and sending the stuff it it, it was uh, I, when i later took over my own team i was like we're gonna we're gonna sleep so mm. if I, if it was just us for the most part i would be like we're gonna eat and we're gonna sleep like that's what it's gonna be <laughs> working with me sorry but so if I could, if it was just us and I could control things because we were off on our own little project, we didn't have that so much. But um, I, I avoided it as much as possible because I thought it was so bad. But I worked on this. Um, um, we were I worked on this Israel shoot, flew right into Madrid, and we were working on this. The org was being open. Tom Cruise was going to come, and all these things had to be down downloaded for the displays, and the thing wasn't finished. So there was Gold Crew doing renovations. I was assigned to like walk hard drives back and forth and download elements for the, the displays, which would then be printed by someone because everything was being rejected because it wasn't, it wasn't up to standard, you know? So whoever was running uh, us, whoever was our boss then, which I, it was some, someone running the gold crew. I don't totally remember who, but was like, no, we're going to, we were all working all day, all night. I remember walking through the streets of Madrid. And I had had no sleep for over a week and very little sleep the month before, like maybe sleeping a couple hours at night. And I was hallucinating mm -hmm. while walking the streets from that much sleep deprivation. And I think I was young enough at the time that I was like, oh, this is kind of wild. Okay. It's like, I'm high, you know, this is kind of wild, you know, but then as you do that, um for too long um and it's so commonplace to require all nighters and even mm. your regular schedule does not account for enough sleep mm. especially if you then experience traumas and then you have sleep issues and whatever there's mm. no wind down time there's no uh way to put in healthy habits to be able to have healthy sleep right mm. so that would happen 
so often. I mean, I I was on the on the ship for evolutions where someone once hid me and said, "Don't go sleep in your bed your bed on the on the ship," because we were shooting things all night long, all night long, and then doing the events all day, and then shooting all night long because somebody did something wrong and it had to be redone. And um, this guy who was my boss hid me. He said, "Go into a different, go take you know take Lynn's bed." Mm-hmm. And sleep there because messengers are going to come after you to find you to wake you up, and you've been up for Ooh. days. And mm-hmm. I, I ended up that that time really screwed because I knew how to edit video as well. I knew avid editing, and I was on camera, so they, I would be editing all night long and then shooting all day long. So I was wearing two positions, and I ended up being like one of the only people on uh, there mm-hmm. at a certain point who knew how to use the the program. So um, hiding me so I could sleep, things like that. It got so bad and created so all these health issues. Well, I was always on the internet. I was usually staying in hotels or Airbnb. So I started researching my symptoms and what was going on with me. I had heart issues, irregular heartbeat, dropped heartbeats, mm-hmm. um, you know, mm-hmm. all kinds of health stuff going on, dige- major digestion yeah. issues, all these things, right? So I start researching well, what's going on with me and sleep. I was like, this is a sleep, a sleep thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I went to see a doctor. Um, after years of, of, of this, um, and mind you, when I was out on my own with my own little crew, we would, we would sleep as much as possible, um, because I believed that that's normal. (laughs) Um, and I didn't want to do that to myself and my people. Right. Mm -hmm. So, um, I went to see a doctor because anytime I would come on something more directly with uh, people from gold or, uh, on an event, or, you know, uh, at something on a, you know, more connected up with a base, no sleep, no sleep, no sleep, no sleep. And the closer I got to it, the more my health issues started to, to, to happen. And, um, this doctor wrote a prescription on a pad and gave it to me. And it said, sleep eight minimum, eight hours a night. He said, I, I can't find anything wrong with your blood tests. Your, you should be healthy. You need sleep. Your medical problems are because you're not Mm -hmm. sleeping. And he wrote it down and gave it to me like a prescription. He's like, I know you need to take this to your managers and show it to them because he was not a Scientologist, but he would treat Scientologists and Mm -hmm. Sierra members in his practice. And he was like, y'all need to sleep. Like this is, this is crazy. Mm -hmm. Um, so, uh, and then eventually when I did leave successfully, I'd gotten a concussion while out filming. And if you get a concussion, you need sleep as recovery. Mm. Um, it, it, that's what the doctor tells you. So I went to see a doctor and the doctor, at, right after I left, and the doctor said, the fact that you didn't sleep enough and the fact that you did keep working somewhat, first of all, you could have gotten secondary concussion. You could have died. So you're very lucky to be alive. Um, second of all, you have prolonged the damage from that concussion. Mm. And it's going to take you much longer to heal. So mm. although I have had other concussions where I was able to heal in a shorter period of time, that concussion took me over a year to heal. From. Wow. Mm. And I, if I stayed in the in, working mm. for the church and being in the SO, I would not have healed. I would still be suffering from that concussion. Mm. Uh, that was right when we went into COVID. So mm. weirdly, the lockdown was good for me because it made me mm. stop. Um, Mm. and I had to sleep and then I ended up, I would sleep. Sometimes I would have to sleep 10 or 12 hours Mm. to recover Mm. from all the years of sleep deprivation and to recover from the damage to my brain from that concussion that I was not able to treat appropriately Mm. because that doesn't happen in the SO. Yeah. Yeah. (sighs) The CIA have pronounced that Sleep deprivation is a form of torture. Torture. Yeah. Did you ever know someone called John Peeler? No, you probably didn't. He he blew. He he, he was one that Kirsten Catano chased on the 101 freeway at at a hundred miles an hour. Kirsten could have killed other people on the Hollywood 101. You can't do a hundred miles. She chased him. John mm. Peeler was Qualsec Gold for some years, and he did this wonderful sentence i want to let's see if my memory he said scientology is essentially 
a spy organization designed to extract maximum production out of its stuff and to gain maximum money out of its public. 